Hey, good morning, everybody. Oh, ooh. still trying to wake up a little bit. Had my first cup of Joe. My first cup of Java. Um, <clears throat> so, a little follow-up on my appointment yesterday with the endocrinologist. Um, he upped my in insulin, of course, because, I, like I said, I've been having trouble with my numbers. Um, basically, he said my, <clears throat> as he was describing last time, is your pancreas being like a bank and having a can uh, money in your account. And essentially, he said that my pancreas is my <clears throat> beta cells, however you want to say it, is quickly... So, uh, a little quicker than what we thought. So, obviously, more insulin is going to be needed. Um, there is some insulin resistance. Surprise, surprise. So, once the insulin resistance, uh, once, I, once I could improve that and improve my insulin sensitivity, I won't need as much insulin. So, uh, that's what you call a double diabetic when you're a type 1 due to factors that are beyond your control and the insulin resistant part is what a lot of type 2's have and type 1's can have that too um, but the double diabetes is a type 1 diabetic with insulin resistance so once I can improve upon that I won't require as much insulin but I'll always need to take insulin until there is a official cure um, <clears throat> so right now, as it said, so I'm taking 10 units of bolus and that bolus, uh, for those of you that aren't diabetics, bolus is what you would take before your meals, 15 minutes, 30 minutes before your meals. Um, let me think. Okay. Then, um, so I'm doing 10, 10, 10 and... I'm also doing 22 units of my basil. Now, my basil, for those of you that aren't diabetic, um, I'll take that before bedtime. And basically, that's supposed to keep my blood sugars steady throughout the night. Um, I'm still learning stuff, you know, and learning the right formulas and crossing all my T's, dotting all my I's and realizing that not everything is going to go according to plan 100% of the time. That's just how it is. But uh, the trick is to keeping everything the way it should be most of the time. That's uh, kind of the goal. Kind of got the sniffles. I don't know. Um... But that, that's where it stands for now. He wants to definitely see me this coming Tuesday to see how the new regiment is working. If it's not working, then he'll up it by another two more uh, units a piece. Um, so then it would be 12, 12, 12, 24. So that would be the 50, 50 regiment right there. I'm hoping that doesn't have to happen, but... We'll just take it as it comes, uh, as long as I get some kind of normalcy. Um, I am tired of being low on energy. I'm tired of feeling the need to try to go to sleep at 8.30 at night. I mean, not, like, I'm not really going to bed and lying down, but, you know, just sitting there on the couch or something, you know, and just wanting, feeling the need and knowing that I should exercise and just not having that oomph there um just uh you know a lot of type 1 diabetics who have been at this for quite a long while describe it a, that it can be a roller coaster ride well I don't exactly feel like I'm on that roller coaster I've been riding high for so long and the thing of it is too right there is that I've been taking enough insulin to cover my meals but if I'm already high, I'm not taking in enough insulin to also take care of that high. I've just been taking enough to cover, you know, the meals. And 
even with the correction doses, they weren't enough. But he set out a certain amount. And, you know, low carb doesn't mean no carb. Obviously, the body needs carbs. But, uh, I just, I haven't really done much processed carbs in that way. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where we're at. I wanted to let you guys know. I probably look tired. I don't know. I feel like I didn't really, oddly enough, I just, I don't know. I didn't, feels like I didn't sleep very good between the hours of 3 and 4.30. 4.30 is usually my normal wake-up time. I'm early bird like my pops was. Uh, my son, he's the same way, you know. Sometimes, I mean, he'll wake up at 4.30, um, Five o'clock, you know, around there. Um, usually around five o'clock is his wake up time. But sounds like somebody's coming down the alleyway. Hear the dogs barking. But no, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. I'll even make another video next week. Um, hopefully, hopefully. And let you know how my Tuesday appointment went. Maybe I'll put that in Thursday's thoughts or something. Um, if you're not familiar with Thursday's Thoughts, if you'd like to hear just some good rambling, anything, everything, um, I don't know, certain things I don't touch upon because I, I don't like making waves, I don't like controversy, <laughs> um, that's just me, I'm just a chill, laid-back guy, um, I mean, if don't get me wrong, if I have thoughts and opinions, I'm one of those I usually won't tell you anything unless you ask me, that's just kind of how it is. But uh, I usually don't argue about things. It's pointless. Um, life is too short. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go have breakfast with the, with the missus. Um, and my son, he actually started uh, some Japanese anime club. So hopefully he likes it and everything. Uh, he also did a creative writing club, but he's going to be in school a little bit longer today. But uh, the missus and I, possibly date night tonight. Um, supposed to be watching... I don't know the title of it, because there's my big fat Greek wedding. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but it's the third installment of... Uh, of that um she's pretty excited about going to see it and i'm pretty excited about having a possibly possibly having a date night so all right guys i will see you on the next video bye guys